Hey guys, have you also seen one of the online marketing campaigns by client watches and now are wondering whether or not you should be getting one for yourself? Then you would definitely want to watch this video till the very end because I'm going to be sharing my honest experience in owning a client watch for well over a month. So guys, before we begin, I just want to make sure that all of you have subscribed to Maverick. If not, just take a second and uh, go ahead and press that red button that you see at the bottom right hand corner of the page along with the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. All right, so let me begin by saying that this watch is definitely an attention grabber and you're sure to get a lot of compliments when you wear this watch out. Uh, given the fact that they have used premium uh, materials in making of this watch, it definitely looks expensive and um, you know you will be getting uh, you know you'll be attracting a lot of attention whenever you wear this watch. Now of course when you're buying a new watch you just don't want it to look good but you also want it to work flawlessly and definitely last you a long time. So um, this is where things took a little different turn and I'd like to share one such incident with you. So uh, recently I was traveling and I took this watch along and while traveling I uh, noticed that one of the uh, seconds, well the seconds hand was uh, not working and um, which obviously was very strange and um, you know so considering the fact that uh, this, this model that I have, the D-Dawn uh, Rose is um, you know is automatic which means that it's self-winding and you know as long as you're wearing it for a few hours every day it should self-wind itself um, but in in my case it was not so obviously uh, I tried to move around and you know just to see maybe it's you know I've not probably moved uh, you know enough or something but uh, you know I moved my hand for for some time and after I noticed again after say about uh, 20 minutes or so the seconds hand was again uh, it again stopped working which is totally unac unacceptable guys especially when you are uh, spending you know a fair amount of money on it uh, in this case I spent about 8500 rupees and uh, which translates to about uh, 130 US dollars so you cannot uh, accept you know such a quality flaw in a watch so guys this is what I wanted to show you uh, if you see that the seconds hand is not working and uh, you know if I move it a little bit it still does not move so now it starts to move again and let's see till when it will move and when it will stop okay so did you see that it's again stopped working and there it goes it again stops now coming to the value proposition that comes with this watch it is uh, mainly the uh, aggressive branding and their social media marketing uh, that they have been doing over the last uh, three or four months that is appealing to you know a lot of their new customers and uh, you know I think there is a very thin line between branding and delivering uh, you know a quality product and this is where I felt there was a slight mismatch and um, I felt that you know I should be sharing uh, my experience uh, in owning this watch for well over a month and uh, also giving you guys uh, you know my honest opinion so that you can take a well informed decision so a lot of you may be wondering that should you or should you not be buying this watch and to be honest with you I get this question almost every other day um, you know asking me for my opinion or my experience of owning this watch so guys how many of you have heard of Aliexpress uh, well some of you may have heard of it or some of you may not uh, so anyways now let's go over to Aliexpress and uh, show you guys something really interesting So guys now heading over to Aliexpress and uh, just to give you an introduction uh, Aliexpress is uh, one of the largest online market uh, places which originates from China and uh, I have used them before on a number of occasions as well 
So, uh, well, you can see out here, uh, you know, I've just typed in this watch uh, and this is the result that comes up. Uh, so the same watch that Klein Watch is selling is being retailed here at around 19.58 US dollars. So it is less than half, you know, of uh, what uh, Klein Watches is selling the watch at. And you can see that it is absolutely identical. There is no difference whatsoever. It's the same clasp, same uh, strap, uh, also looks the same. So it's very, very hard to make out any difference whatsoever between uh, this watch and uh, the one that is, uh, this is being sold by client watches. So just like in Amazon, you can also see uh, the rating of a particular seller. Uh, and what other uh, customers who have ordered from the seller are saying about it, you know, what their experience is, and based on which you can, uh, you know, place the order. I would highly recommend you first, uh, you know, check the rating of a seller and only then place the order. So as you can see, there are many different variety of models are, that are available on AliExpress, and uh, most of them are uh, replicas of uh, expensive labels such as Audemars Piaget, Hublot, uh, Rolex um, and, and a lot of others as well. So you will be really spoiled for choice you know with so many different variety of models and I can tell you that um, what it appears is that you know most of the brands pick up watches from here and rebrand them and sell uh, you know with their own labels. So guys the reality is in front of you and you can see that there are so many uh, different models to choose from and they're all uh, legit sellers. Uh, you can also see that other customers have shared their feedback and you know the actual pictures of the watches that they have received from the seller. So that should give you, you know, uh, a fair bit of idea as to what to expect uh, and the watches, you know, how identical the watches look in real and, uh, and what they are shown on the website. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you. Uh, I hope you have found this video useful and are able to derive some value out of it. Uh, the reason I wanted to make this video was because I get so many uh, questions uh, for, you know, pertaining to this watch that um, I felt it was, uh, you know, important for me to share this information with you so that you're able to take an uh, informed decision rather than uh, being misled into some sort of a fancy branding and, you know, just putting your money into something that uh, does not work well in the long run. So guys, this is it for now. If you've enjoyed watching this video, do smash the like button and the bell icon on your way out. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video very soon. Till then, take care and goodbye.